<laughs> you don't need to say it again. You don't have to ask twice, baby. Or don't you trust what I can do? Why not? That's why I'm always happy whenever you come around. Just now you don't carry me along. No. You know, this is just a new family that you have entered. I need to give you time to, you know, is that mean everything? Yes. I know I just got married. Every other thing you're saying, I don't understand. I shouldn't cut off from my friends because I just got married. But that is not what I am saying. Sandra, you just got married to Steve. You are still in honeymoon. You need enough time to examine this man. Yes, you have to know everything about him, his business, his family, you know. In fact, and if possible, this is your time to give him that thing morning, afternoon, night, day. Yeah, now, anyhow. Stop it. Is that but, all you know? Well, that's what the MC said. In nine months' time, I got. You have to go. <laughs> is that all you know about new couples? What is there about marriage? If not love, togetherness, go inside toilets, come out from bathroom, go back to the bedroom, you know, go out to, uh, in the living room, walk around. What <laughs> is what you are here for? Stories. Don't worry. Very soon, you will join the league. Then you will get it correct. Hey, baby. I'm telling you about marriage. Now, you need to enjoy it. This is your time, so. <laughs> Don't worry. Like I said, you will soon join the category. <sighs> then you will come back and we will discuss. We will have this discussion again. <laughs> You come back and we'll have it. Oh, okay. But you tell me. Goodness. Mm. So how have you been? Um, beautiful, my darling. It's always good to see you. And me too. <laughs> <laughs> see this, my gossip mate. <laughs> I know you want to hear something, Abby. Please <laughs> tell me. My ears are itching. Tell me, what please. You um, that's, you know. <laughs> Stop it, bro. Tell me what I want to hear, please. Ah, I'm saying it. Now just calm down. Um, you know. Okay. Baby. Please. Not now. You know very well that I don't like talking when eating. Okay? So let me get done. So, what is it? Our sex life as newly married couple is not encouraging. I know you have set back in your business, but it should not come between our sex life as husband and wife. Baby, I, I need it to change. I'm really sorry to get into our sex life, okay? But I've been really, really stressed, especially with work. But I promise you, it will change now. And by now, I mean today, like right now, from today. Okay? It's my love speaking. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that reminds me. You said you're going to bring back your car from the mechanic yesterday. Huh. Honey, uh, this mechanic, uh, I don't even know what to say about him. Eh? One complaint to another. But look, I will go back there tomorrow, okay? Yeah. Okay, Naka has been with him for like a month now, if not more. No, oh, don't worry. I will make sure I bring it back tomorrow, okay? Okay, it's alright. <laughs> Drink the bottle of wine. Hmm? 
What are we celebrating? Why well, do you have a class? Oh, uh, couples do celebrate without reason. Why do you have just one glass? Oh, aren't we one? All right. All right. <clears throat> oh, this is awesome. Sorry, let me let me turn another one. Hey, this one draw is supposed to take cost. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Sweetheart, you sure I wanted to finish me last night. Stop it. How? I don't even remember anything. We kissed passionately and we had a time of our lives and the rest they said was made in paradise. You were drunk anyway. I was drunk? Mm -hmm. But I just had one glass of red wine. How is that even possible? 
Come on, I don't think you should start now to be thinking of how a glass made you drunk. What matters is that we both had fun. Okay? <laughs> Alright, baby. Let's uh let's go over to the dining room. Eh? Okay. Let's go. Okay, Harry, please, I need your help. I need to borrow your car for some time. Borrow my car? How? Look, okay, Harry, uh, see, uh, I know you must be thinking that I sold this car to buy a new one. But well, that's not the case. I actually sold this car to you because my business has finally collapsed. And I needed urgent 2K, all this, you know, money to offset my, my debts. But the only mistake I made was I did not tell my wife that I've already sold the car. Yes. And uh, the way it is now, the only thing I had to tell her was the car had problems, a very serious problem, so I took it to the mechanic for repairs. <sighs> I, I really need I really need your help because I, I wouldn't want to bother my wife because we are just newlyweds. I don't want to bother her or make anything, you know, look like it's not what it is. I don't want her to feel any psychological, you know, uh, challenges at the moment. You know, women how they can be. So that's why I'm here for you to help me. Please help me. I, I'm I'm not going to bore your car for long. <sighs> I don't want to stand like I say, I don't want to consider you. But I have to be honest with you. This person you are talking about is not your girlfriend. It's your lawful wedded wife. Mm -hmm. I mean, open up to her. You need to tell her what is going on. How long do you think you're going to be living this fake life with her? It's not fake life, Oga okay, Henry. Eh? It's no fake life. I just need your help for a few days. That's all. We are saying the same thing. He said it's not a fake life. But, but it is. Lying to her, your car's issue, this, that, why you sold the car. Just tell her. Uh, anyways. Um, it's difficult to... But I know it's difficult. That's why I'm begging you. Please. Eh? Please, I'm begging you. When do you need it? Just do this. Tomorrow and next. That's all. <sighs> Just doing it because you have been a good friend to me. But please, my car must be saved. Thank you very much. I'll return it in, in good hands. Please. Thank you. is finally back. I'll be smart, you know. 
Oh. Thank you, baby. Uh, I'll still have to take it back. Yeah. Why? What happened? This is the same shape and form this car was when I took it to the mechanic. Could you believe this guy didn't do anything? I, I almost called the police, if not that his colleagues started pleading with me. Thank God you listened to them. Let him go with his troubles. Anyways, as soon as we get back from the event tomorrow, I have to get another mechanic to work on it. What happened? It's a car battery. It's refused to start. This guy is really giving you a headache. So you will take the car back to the mechanic tomorrow? Yeah, it's not like we have a choice, do we? I suggest you just park the car in the house instead of wasting money. Nah, I'm going to take it to a much better mechanic tomorrow. We need to get the car up and running. Okay. We have actually passed our bedtime. And we have a finished business in the bedroom. You can't say that again. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Special announcement. Let me hear it. Do not give me red wine. Do not give me any wine at all. In fact, do not give me even water. Are you taking it back to the mechanic now? Oh yes, I will, but not now. I need to head to the shop first. Okay, it's fine. Yeah. Alright, my love. Okay, thank you. Yeah.
<laughs> so Chama doesn't want to come and visit me again, Abby. She's forming big girl. Says who? Sandra, you are the one who has refused to visit any of us. Instead, you are expecting us to come and live with you with our entire communities. Yes. <laughs> Your friend is not like that. Sometimes, some things are left unsaid. And who is ready to listen to your stories? I know you have something to tell me. My husband this, my house Charles, my dad and my dad. Please! Mm. Am I lying? You are not lying, girlfriend. But you know, some marriages need tolerance and discipline. Women, they try you. I said it. So you now want to lecture me about marriage? Huh? Okay. I'm all yes. Not really. I just wanted to tell you the difference of marriages and husbands. That's all. Sandra! You're serious? This is not why I'm here. You see that in your lectures. I am not here for it, okay? I said it. Please, my lecturer. I am not here for the lectures, okay? I am here for something else. You know, as usual. Yeah. That's your own share of cake. Oh. You know, you and your hobby, you left before the birthday ended. So I decided to bring the cake for you, Paul. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, yeah. <laughs> Have your drink, please. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Hello, no, get ready. I didn't go sack now. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't wait. Good morning. Good morning. I, I I just came to say how grateful I am. Uh, it's okay. But like I told you the last time, you have to open up to your wife. Because I might not, not grant you this kind of request next time. Just man up. It, it's alright. Once again, I'm I'm truly grateful. It's okay, once again, I'm grateful. What is it? The young man you gave your car. I don't know him too well, but he's definitely not a mechanic. Can you tell me what is going on or I walk away from this marriage? The other night you made me drink and I slept off. You drugged me, right? Because you didn't want to make love to your wife. Last night I confirmed it. You made love to me, but you did not. Please start talking. Hey, I'm sorry. I... I'm sorry for lying to you. 
Firstly, I... I already sold the car. Yes. There's nothing wrong with my business. It's totally collapsed. I, I sold the car a long time ago so I could raise some money and pay off my debts. Baby, I, I just didn't want to let you know because I didn't want you to slip into any kind of psychological trauma. Why have you been reluctant to make love to me the way you should? I, I just couldn't foresee us having children under this circumstance. Baby, please forgive me. I'm sorry for lying to you. Please forgive me. Sweetheart. Sweetheart. I was angry with you, but not anymore. You did what you did to protect me. Though I am not comfortable with it, but I appreciate you for that. I want to tell you something. You are going to bounce back. And I will be by your side. We will not just have one child, but children. And don't even worry on how we are going to take care of them. God will provide. Thank you, babe. You're giving me the courage to move on. I love you. I love you more. So, where's the thing, though? Mm -hmm. I don't know. She knows I will not do such a thing. But I don't know why she's not picking my calls. I tried talking to her, but she felt I'm defending you. In mm. fact, what she said got me ifrated. I don't want to talk to her about it again. Don't worry, I'll handle it myself. My Better. only issue now is Steve, my husband. What about... Wait, that reminds me. The other time, there was something you wanted to tell me and he walked in, you stopped. I hope all is well. We have actually resolved the issue. Really? Yes, we've resolved it. But the only problem now is I'm, I'm looking for a job. You know, I feel like a liability to my husband when I know I, I've got all it takes to get a good job and assist the family. <laughs> Sandra, I beg. I don't think that has to worry you. Of course. Your husband is equal to task. Anyway, I, I won't say you wouldn't get a job. I pray God gives you the job. But then, I know Steve can take care of you and your entire family. That's his job. But I just want to be useful, you know. I just want to be useful. You will be. He's <laughs> Steve's wife. That's it. Hi, okay, course, dear. You will be. Let me just run along. Thanks for coming. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, see you soon. All right, take care. Bye. But you guys don't do dispatch riders. Deliver it to me. Oh, not to worry. If you don't get anyone, I'll just try and get up. You know what? Let me just let me call you back. Call you?
Honey, what is it? You look moody. A friend of mine made me an offer. I have been thinking seriously of what to make of it. Tell me about it, this offer. He agreed to help me travel out of the country. What do you think about it? What happens to me and... You and... I'm pregnant. I've been meaning to tell you before... Before this, you... You're pregnant? Yes. For real? That's great news! This calls for celebration! Thank you, darling. Oh my word! Thank you. What? No, no, babe, please don't talk about him right now. <laughs> Let's just focus on this good news. Okay? Okay. We need to celebrate. All right? Okay, darling. Let's head inside. <laughs> yes! Let's go inside and celebrate. How on earth did you hide this away from your darling? <laughs> I wanted to make it a surprise. What? Oh, okay. Is that a baby? Yes, 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 Oh my word, this is good news. Yeah, it's fine. Yes. Thank you, darling. You made my day. Hmm. You made my day. Yes. I mean, you gave me the greatest news ever. Yeah. And you made my day. Um. Okay. So now, tell me about this, your friend and his offer. I need you to know I will support any decision you take. If you decide to travel with him, you have my support. Babe, I'm... I'm just concerned, really. What happens to you and our unborn child? We would be fine. Are you sure? I said we would be fine. After all, it's for our own good. I love you, baby. I love you. Mm. Mm. Look at this. You see this girl's dressing? Yeah, I, I like this one. I think we need to order for this one. This one is really nice. Check. Did they tell the price? No, you didn't. It's just to contact them. Okay. This is good. This one is also okay. Hold on. Hello? Yeah. Good morning, Steve. To see me? Now? Okay. Okay. J just give me 10 minutes and I'll be there. Alright. Who is that? Steve. Who is Steve? Sandra's husband, of course. Okay. What does he want with you? How will I know? He just called me that there is something very important he would like to discuss with me. Babe. I don't, don't understand. I don't do. Don't you think I should call Sandra first or... No, 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 don't. I'm not going to see him. But be very careful. I don't trust men of this generation. Please. I don't either. But you know Sandra. She always keeps to herself. 
she does not discuss anything about her family. But then, let me go and see him. I'm coming, eh? Just please select the, the clothes. Okay, I will select that for you. That person I told you, I, I don't know, there is no price tag, but check yeah, on it. Yeah, I'll select I'll be with you soon, okay? Okay. Alright. What do you want? Good morning. Cynthia, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Yeah, I'm okay. Uh, Cynthia, please, I would like you to do me a favor. A favor? And what is that? I will be traveling out of the country next week. Wow! <laughs> That's great. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> thank you. So, what do you want me to do for you? My wife, I I would really like you to spend some time with her while I'm away. I, I don't want her to feel lonely at all. No matter how much I send to her and no matter how much she saves in that process, she'll still struggle to be happy in my absence. <laughs> oh my goodness. Steve, you're very funny. <laughs> Steve, I mean... Is this the favor you came to ask for me? Yes. But Sandra, your wife is just like a sister to me. We've been friends for years. In fact, I'll be there for her in the morning, afternoon, night, anytime. She's my person. I, I, I'm there. I'll be there for her and I'm always there for her. So I will. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. So yeah. congratulations once again and Johnny Messes. Thank you. Thank <laughs> Bye. You. Bye. As soon as I settle down, I'll come for you and baby. Okay? We, we would be expecting to hear from you. As soon as I touch down, you'll be the first I'll call. Alright? Okay, darling. I will miss my flight. <laughs> it's alright. Okay. I'll call. Take care of baby, okay?
here. You are here. Yes. You are not looking cheerful. What is it? I haven't heard from my husband. He hasn't called me. Ah, uh -uh. my dear. From here to Malaysia is over seven hours. Yes, he has to get there, settle down, relax before calling you. You mean I have nothing to worry about? Yes, you have nothing to worry about at all. I was thinking Malaysia is not that far. It is. Okay, at least you will be expecting his call in the next 24 hours. Thank you so much for this information. God. Thank you, please. Sit down, have a seat. Oh God, just share up, okay? I know you will call soon. Now oh, what? Mm. Oh, Love my girl. <laughs> you are missing him already. Yes. <laughs> I have to. I have to fast. Sandra, you have to calm down. Yes. I am thinking maybe he needs to settle down before he will call. Calm down for what? He needs to settle down. How long will it, will it take him to settle down? This is over two weeks and he hasn't called. Tell me if something hasn't happened to him, he has ought to have called me by now. Nothing has happened to him. Please, stop being pessimistic over this. What if he was involved in a plane crash? How could you be saying something like this? Anyway, there has not been any news of plane crash for the past one month in this country. In fact, all over the world. Okay? So nothing like that. Cynthia, I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't want anything to happen to my husband. Nothing will happen to him. Things are not as easy as it is here. Okay? Over there, things are being followed in procedures. Especially they go, I think, so many things there goes in paperwork. So calm down. I know he will call. Okay? Okay, I'm just, I'm just believe everything is alright. Everything is alright. I believe so. Can we go inside and watch film? Mm, you need to worry less. Let's go. It's going to be fine, eh? Very soon. I love it. Cynthia, you have not been yourself. What's wrong? And don't tell me you're fine. Because it's written all over your face, you're not. What's the problem? Chama, I am not fine. And Sandra is the problem. What happened to her? Steve, Sandra's husband traveled to Malaysia. And this is good two weeks that he traveled. But he has not called his wife. Yes. In fact, Sandra is in a very big trouble now. I just don't know. I passed through her place during the day. I tried my little best to make her feel better. But then, my instincts tells me that something must have happened. I mean, something is wrong. Something like what? I don't know. But the truth is that Steve that I know cannot be safe. I mean, traveled to Malaysia, landed safe and sound without calling his wife Sandra. No. This is serious. Very serious. Very serious and I feel for Sandra this time around. I don't know. She's pregnant. She needs peace of mind. I mean, this thing is, is above her. Oh, wow. Ah, could you please just keep this guy safe? Okay. Ah. Hey. Steve is not that kind of man that can live without his wife. 
they have, they have been together always. I don't know. For the sake of this unborn child, how should you just keep him safe? I just give you give me. La la, it's a light, light. Chocolate. Ooh, you try it. Delicious. See, I'm going to eat all the water so you can play here. Oh my God, see. What? Awesome. You've passed your first trial. Thanks to. The love of my life. Look okay. at you. Too <laughs> Baby, you know we don't belong here, right? Where do we belong? The bedroom, of course. Why are you so obsessed about the bedroom? Well, that's because every single activity that happens there is satisfactory to both body and soul. <laughs> okay. You know, if I didn't marry you, I would have remained a spinster all my life. Why do you say that? Because you're the best man I've ever known. Oh. That first food day I met you was the best day of my life. Baby, you know, I I never believed in love at first sight. Yeah, until I met you. Um, I used to, you know, you have all my friends who had those kind of sentiments. I think I do hold an apology. Big time. You have to go and apologize to him one after the other. Yes, I will. Okay. Okay. Let's go to your favorite spot. Mm. Oh. Mm. Are you sure you're ready for that uh, activity? I am equal to the task. Okay. After you. No, we go together. Mm -hmm. Bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, Cynthia. I'm, I'm so sorry for bothering you. You are not bothering me. Of course, your pen is mine. Cynthia, do you know anybody, anyone that stays in Malaysia? Someone we can put a call across to know if they have any information. Honestly, the only person I know I have lost his contact 
I don't know, but I was thinking of that. What about the person that traveled with your husband? I mean, the person that gave him the contact to Malaysia. You don't know him, you don't know her, you don't have the person's contacts. I don't know him. <clears throat> I did not meet him. Oh my God, this cannot be happening. Cynthia, how about your friend you told me about? Does he not have any friends or relatives? Like I said, he was my second rescue mate. So, I don't know. But since I lost his contact, I think I have to call other of our second rescue mates to see if any of them have his contacts. Yes, I will try and make inquiries, eh? But just calm down. If I get anything positive, I will give you a call, okay? Just relax. And please, I'm rushing home. John is back. So I have to go and meet him. Please, but try and be yourself, okay? Thank you. See you soon. Thank you, Thank you so much. Babe, you said we came back late because something came up. So what happened? It's my friend. Which friend? Sharma? No, Sandra. Yeah, what, what happened to her? Babe, Sandra is in a very big trouble. Steve traveled to uh, Malaysia mm -hmm. and this is over a month now. He has not called. Nobody has heard anything about him. So she called me for us to reason, think and check if there is anybody we know that has been in Malaysia before or that know anyone that has traveled before so that we can think of how to connect him or know his whereabouts. What do you think? <sighs> well, you know, I hate being pessimistic. But if actually he landed in Malaysia, yes. it's either he's already dead or he's in jail and will probably still die. I don't understand. Drug trafficking is a very big offense in Malaysia and it attracts death penalty. Steve, I know, cannot do drugs. Yes! That he went to Malaysia does not mean that he went there to do drugs. That's not what I mean. So? Look, I know quite well that I made a high presumption. But mm. now let's look at it this way. If actually Steve landed in Malaysia, the first thing he would have done was to pick up his phone and call his wife. He didn't do that. And it's over a month now and he's still in communicado. Nobody has been able to reach him. So. My instinct tells me that he tried to smuggle drugs into the country and he was caught. Steve, I know, cannot do that. Yes. Okay, okay. Now, on the second possibility, maybe he got tired of your friend and he just wanted to travel. You use that as an excuse to end the marriage. That is impossible. Steve will also not do that. Please, can we talk something else? I, I don't even know why I should bring up this matter for the first time. It's okay, I'm sorry. Okay. 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 Okay.
I'll give her injection. The cut is deep. Nurse. Injection in this her condition. There's nothing wrong about that. I can't. Um, Sandra. 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 Huh? What did she say? She said that she's going to give you injection. Okay. No. Nurse, please give me pills instead of injections. I'll be fine. Aside the injury, are you sure you're fine? Yes, I'm I'm fine. Yes, nurse. She's okay. She's fine. Okay. So uh, how much is the bill? Okay, thank okay. you. Um please you take it two in the morning and two in the night. And please don't forget to pick your dress. So thank you. Mom, please don't forget to pick your dress. Thank you, Ness. Yeah. Bye. Right, yeah, bye. Sandra, I think you're taking these things too hard. Please put yourself together. Don't she'll be fine. Madam, we are saying the job. Where I say they drop now? I go drop for in Tabua. If we don't pass in Tabua, sis. You hear why they say in Tabua, in Tabua. You not talk. Mm. What did mm. happen? Okay, no, first. I don't even know say we don't pass in Tabua. Madam, I beg, I beg. I'm not there for that one. Give my money. May you come down. I will not pass in Tabua. May no, you go no back. Problem. I beg. I'll give you no problem. It's fine. Just speak out. That's it. Okay, uh, thank you. I understand. It's nice to feel for friends, especially when they're in pain. I feel the same too. But Cynthia, you're taking this too personal. I look at you, it's weighing you down. And I'm uncomfortable with that. Chema, I am not taking it personal. Rather, I am thinking of something else. I'm thinking of something. And what's that? I am thinking of what John said to me. Although I was mad at him, because you know my John, he has this negative way of thinking at times. But honestly speaking, I am seeing the possibility of what he said to me. Okay, I'm listening. John said, maybe, like, he said that maybe Steve must have been caught trying to smuggle drugs into Malaysia. And in such art, death is the penalty. Well, hmm, I've been thinking that 
same thing too. Yes, but I don't want to be the one to let the cat out of the bag. Come to think of it, for a man to travel out of the country for over a month and he has not called his wife, ha, it's either he's dead or probably in jail. Exactly what John said. I have to go now. Please, don't forget to help me file those documents tomorrow. Sure, I will do All right, that. Alright there. Okay. Alright, take care. Bye there. Sandra, honestly speaking, I don't like what you are doing to yourself. I have told you, try and pull yourself together, please. Since I'm a few months time, I'll put to bed. Someday my child will ask me who his father is. What would be my response? Yes. I know it is not going to be an easy moment. But then, your life. Look at it. The doctor say that your blood pressure is high. It is not stable. You need to help yourself. Your life first. Please. Am I even alive? Samba, you are alive. Is this one in life? I just wish, I just wish somebody, somebody would just call me somehow, anyhow, and tell me my husband is dead. I would just grieve for a while and move on. Just look at me. I don't even know if my husband is dead or alive. Assuming he's alive, why would he even abandon me and my unborn child? Can you please stop all these things? Stop all these lamentations. It can't help it. Please. <laughs> Thank you, Cynthia. Thank you so much for taking care of me and always being here for me. I I would just pretend like I was never married and involved in my life. <sighs> and that's still not a bad idea, okay? Then, you don't need to thank me. 
if not for John's sake, I will be here for you. Yes. Hmm? What are friends for? Talking about John, why don't you just accept him and allow him to pay your bride price? He's a good man. Babe, I need to think very well. Honestly, I don't want to make mistake again. Sandra, put yourself together, okay? The world has not come to an end. Love and hate stand side by side. Light and dark clinging in a room. Before my eyes are shining like a light. I wish I could see the hearts of men. Somebody with me up, hold my hands and tell me it's all a dream. Oh no, oh no. The life that I wish I had like a candlelight is burning down so fast. Mm. Oh, I wish, oh, I wish for love. Never go so far. Never go so far. Oh, I wish, oh, I wish that you never go away. Never go away. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Every night I cry, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Somebody tell me it's all a dream. Oh, 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 oh. Somebody wake me up. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. I wish I yeah. could see. No, 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 yeah. Night and day yearning for your touch, your gentleness, that is all I wish. All I wish. The heart I cling, walking for my due. I wish I knew that it's all a twist Somebody wake me up, hold my hands and tell me it's all a dream Oh no, no, yeah. The light that I wish I had like a candlelight is burning down so fast Oh, 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 oh I wish for love never go so far Oh yeah Oh, I wish my love never go away. away. Excuse me. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Look at you. Is this you? Yes, it's me. Oh, no, no, no. Can somebody just wake me up from this dream, please? Oh, of course, you know, oh. women, this is reality. Wow, you've grown into a beautiful woman. Oh, please. What I don't want now is just someone to flatter me please but i'm not flattering you you're looking good yes <laughs> thank you and you too <laughs> thank you <laughs> oh, no. so when did you come in well i i arrived yesterday i see nice to have you back <laughs> thank you <sighs> don't start please <laughs> <laughs> listen i don't care where you're going to but you have to cancel it okay all right I'll tell you when we get into the car. Come on. Frank. Hey, ride with me. <laughs> yes, old friend, come here. Oh. Frank, honestly, it's nice to have you back. Thank you very much. And I'm, like, I'm happy to see you.
honestly, Cynthia, I don't know where to start from or how to say it. This might sound funny, but I am still in love with you. Yes. Frank, I don't believe you. <sighs> yes. You traveled to Malaysia. You spoke with me just a few months. That ends it. You became unreachable. I know. So. But there's a cogent reason behind whatever happened. It was not intentional. Please, let's not go there. Anyway, Frank, I am in a serious relationship now. And it's beginning to have a positive direction. Well, I just wish I could turn back the hands of time. But well, it's alright. I understand everything. Thank you for that. Um, Frank, there is this now I would like to discuss with you. A friend of mine, I mean, one of my girlfriends, she's just like a sister to me. Her husband traveled to Malaysia and for over eight months now, nobody has heard anything about him. No communication, nothing. Wow. Are you serious? Yes. Um, do you have his picture on your phone? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. No. Ah, I wish you had any of his pictures. I, I would have known what to do. Is there... Okay, in that case, why can't we drive to her place and get the picture? Oh, uh, okay, fine. Fine. I, I, I'm cool. I'm cool with it. Thank you. All Thank right. you. Hey, Cynthia. Sandra. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you. Please sit down. Right. <clears throat> Sandra. Meet Frank, my secondary school friend I told you about. He just came back from Malaysia. Malaysia? Yes. Please, please, did you see my husband? Is he still alive? <clears throat> Baby, please, calm down. Calm down. That is the reason he's here, okay? I told him everything. So, oh, yes. She has told me everything. Um... I'd like you to send me one of his pictures, anyone at all. I have to post it on our WhatsApp group. I believe someone there will definitely recognize him. Okay, um, just send it to me. Okay, okay. let me give you my WhatsApp number. You have nothing to worry about, okay? Once I get to the hotel now, I will broadcast the information. I assure you, you will be found. Thank you very much. I, I really appreciate it. You're welcome. I have to run along. Yes. <laughs> okay, and um, Sandra, let me see him off, eh? I'll be back. All right, no problem. All right. Okay. Thank you, I'll be expecting to you. All right, all right. Do you love him? 
<laughs> love although both of us did boyfriend and girlfriend stuff but that was then in secondary school that's it okay anyway he just told me that he's still in love with me but i made it clear to him that i am authentically out of the market did you understand he has no choice it's well yeah so that reminds me you've not done anything concerns our last discussion Please remind me, I don't remember. I told you. Sandra, you need a house help. Oh, that I... My mother will come when I'm due. I know. But she will soon leave. You need a house help. Your mother cannot be here forever. Cynthia, please, I don't want to worry about that now. If you say so. But I know you need a house help here. You can't be alone. Tell me, how's the baby kicking? We're doing good. Sorry, I didn't ask what you want. What do I offer you? Oh. Is that that you want to tell me that you can't say it to me on phone? Please, just be fast about it because my boss is not aware that I left the desk. Please. It, it's about you, your friend's husband. He's, he's dead. The they said he died in a boat mission. Jesus. Jesus. No, no, wait. Ah! Oh, listen. I no! I, I, I didn't want no. to tell her because I wanted you to be the one to give her the news. Hey! Oh my God! Yes. Um, oh, Sandra, baby. Cynthia, you don't have to do this. Okay, what we should be talking about now is how to... Oh. How to... Oh, give her this, no. this, this ugly news. Oh my goodness. I don't know. I don't. 
this is this is very difficult. It's unbelievable to me. I don't even know. You you, you know what? Uh, Frank, please. I need your help now. Oh, you need to follow me to her place. I can't I can't I can't just do this myself. I can't do I don't even know how to start it. <sighs> okay. Alright. <sighs> you need to pick up a few things or so... Please let's just go. Oh, I'm finished. Oh, oh. You mean Steve is dead? Oh, Oh, I don't even know how will she feel. <laughs> Sapra. Sapra is pregnant. I mean... Mama, what did the doctor say? Well, I should take enough rest, Abby. Take your medication. I already told you, you need rest. I don't know why you like stressing yourself. We have people there to help you out. Just take enough friends. Just for a few days. A few days. Yeah. I'm a little bit. My friend is. Sandra. Hi, Sandra. Hi. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Ah. Uh. What is it? Uh, okay. Talk to me. Is there any problem? Honestly, honestly, I don't, I don't know where to start. I don't understand. Uh, considering your condition, I just wish I was not the one to deliver this message. But I, I just have to. The baby, okay? Just calm down. Has anything happened to my husband? No. Um, still. Steve is dead. He died in a boat mission. Sandra, no. You're joking, right? <laughs> yes, he's, he's joking, joking, right? Yes, yes. I'm not joking. <laughs> he's joking, right? Yes, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, that's, that's, that's the truth. He's dead. <laughs> no. No! No! Sandra, please. please. Please, baby. Tell me you're joking. Yes. Tell me it's joking. I don't like this joke. This joke is very expensive. I don't like it. Listen, yes. you just have to pull yourself together. Okay? Yes. Your condition, your baby, is very important. Yes, the baby. No! 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 Hi, Sandra. Good day, Mr. Frank. Good day. Please How are you? Oh, thank thank you. you. Oh, I got your fruit. Oh. Thank you so much. I, I really appreciate it. I don't know what I would have done without you. God bless you. It's okay. I've been there. I know how it feels to lose a loved one. But I'm glad you are, you're getting healed. You are part of the healing. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So, when is your appointment with the doctor? Tomorrow. Time? 10 a.m. I'll be here to take you to the hospital in the morning. My goodness. Thank you so much. I. You've carried my burden upon your shoulder. I don't know how to repay you. Ah, oh, come on. It's fine. I don't want anything. I'm okay. All right. I'm good. So, <clears throat> I have to be on my way. See you tomorrow morning. You don't want me to offer you anything? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Take care of yourself. Okay. 
Right. Make sure you keep your boots. Yes, yes, I will. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Take care of yourself. You too. Hi, Cynthia. Fine, and um, good evening, Frank. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine, I'm And uh, I'm good. How is work? Work. It was fine. Ah, sorry, I actually came to check on your friend. I see. Thank you so much for being there for her this time. Uh, that's the least I could do. And uh, you? You're also doing good. She's indeed happy to have you as a friend. Yeah. Sandra is like a sister to me. Wow, that's nice. Okay, fine. Uh, maybe I should wait to take you home if you don't mind. I'm spending the night here. Oh. Ah. Yes. Will you be able to make it to the office early tomorrow? Never mind. I will wake up very early. <laughs> okay, she says so. All right, take care. You too. See you later. Bye. Bye. Hi, girl. Since you're falling for him. Since I don't understand. You know how broken I am. His presence is what is keeping me together now. He's just a nice guy. Sandra, I can understand your condition. But you still need to be very careful. Of course, men are unpredictable. I know. Tell me. Do you still have a thing for him? How can you say that? Of course, you know I'm in a very serious relationship with John. I'm sorry. It's okay. But I want to tell you something. I don't have any problem seeing Frank around you. But I think he is being too fast. Oh. You are the one being too fast. Yes. I know probably you will fall in love again or even remarry. But it's not up to a year that he gave us the information about the death of your husband. You are still carrying his child. Cynthia, please stop. This someone is not going to make me feel any better. I'm sorry about that. Mm. I discussed with John and I told him I'm going to spend my night here today. Are you okay with that? That's my baby. Share up. Okay? He got to something. It's alright, baby.
Good morning, there. Hope you slept well. Yes, I did, and you? I'm all right. I'm good. So, shall we? Yes. Um, before we leave, can I ask you for a favor? Go ahead. Um, please, can you come and stay with me in the house? The, the house is very big, and I'm very lonely alone. Um, what about Cynthia? Um, she comes and goes. She can't stay here because the house is very far from work. If she comes to stay with me, she will be, she'll be late at work. Okay. Uh, Please don't it... say no. Let's go to the hospital first. We'll talk about this later. Please. Okay, but... Please, don't say no. I am not going to say no. Thank you. And I haven't said yes either. <laughs> Why? Oh, come on, Sandra. You and I should know that this is a very difficult decision to make. I'm not asking you to come and live with me. I'm just asking you to come and stay with me because the only person that would have come to stay with me is my mom and she's really sick now. She can only come when she's fully recovered. Okay, okay. can we talk about this later? All right, let's go to the hospital first. Okay. All right, let's go. Sandra, how could you? Are you out of your mind? How could you ask Fran to come and stay here with you? What is the problem? Cynthia, stop. You can't tell me what to do and what not to do with my life. Yes, I am not trying to dictate your life for you, but I'm trying to tell you the truth. For crying out loud, have you tried to verify everything Frank told you about the death of your husband? Have you? Yes. The both, the, the, the both mishap and whatsoever. If that really happened, the news is supposed to be online. Yes. What are you doing? What are you insinuating? What I'm saying is that everything is happening so fast. Have you tried to think if Frank is praying in your vulnerability? Eh? Think for crying out loud. Since I am not vulnerable. Just because I asked him to come and stay with me in the house doesn't mean I don't have self-control. Sandra, please, I am begging you. You have to stop that. Stop him from that. Very soon, your mother is going to be strong enough to come and stay here with you before you put to bed. And I'm promising you myself, I will always be here once I have the chance. Yes! Please let him be. Sandra, enough of this conversation! Sandra, wait. Are you trying to put to bed? Sandra, wait! I don't know. Sandra, wait! John! Hello, John! Come on, please wait now! Come here! Sit 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 here!
Sandra, you are not looking good. What is the matter? I'm fine. No, you are not. You know I know you too well. See, Sandra, you now have a newborn baby girl. You have your mother. You have me. What else? Baby, you need to be okay. Yes. Oh, Cynthia, I want to cut all ties with Frank. Why? You never wanted him around me. Oh, come off it, baby. No, now. You misunderstood me. I was only saying that you were falling so fast for him. Yes. Now, let me tell you this. Whatever I had with Frank those days was just boyfriend and girlfriend stuff. That was nothing serious. Yes. But what I'm saying, it is too early for you to have any romantic feelings for him. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Are you good? You're welcome. Mom, hmm? will you be going for Antinental? Mm -hmm. Dad, what about you? What about me? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yes. I'll be going for Antinetal too. Oh, sorry, Brother Neta. <laughs> <laughs> um, sweetheart. I'll just take Mom to, to the hospital. Then I'll come back. Okay? Okay, Daddy. We're going to be home all day, you and I. Babe, hmm? the rice is nice. Hmm? Yeah. Mom is the best cook. I cooked, not you. No, you just helped me cutting the onions and cutting the Hey, babe, what are you saying? You just helped me cutting the onions and paper. <laughs> <lamom, laughs> my mom cooks better than God bless you. Uh, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Man Jerry, <laughs> the biggest man in Kuala Lumpur. What's up, bro? What? Um, uh, hold on, can I call you back? I'm driving. Yes, I'll call you back. Dad. Oh. What's the problem? Uh, nothing much, my darling. I just got a call from a friend in Malaysia that one of our friends there died. Huh. Take heart, Dad. It's alright. But, Dad, why didn't you go back to Malaysia? I wanted to. <clears throat> I wanted to get a visa for you and your mom, but it didn't work out, so I had to stay back. I don't want to be far from my family. You darling, Dad. Are you a sweetheart? Mom and I are lucky to have you. Me too. I'm lucky to have you guys.
Tell her, Jerry. What are you talking about? How did he make it out of the prison? No, no, I thought he was sentenced to life imprisonment with hard labor. How, how did it happen? Gosh. Um. It's all right. It's it, it's fine. Okay, I, I need you to do one more thing for me, please. Okay. Uh, just let me know whenever he'll be leaving for Nigeria. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi right, Bruno, what's up? Yeah, can I see you now? I mean, like, immediately. Okay, okay, I'm coming right away. All right. Hey bro, what's up? Oh, yes. Listen, I am taking my wife to the hospital for Adnental. Yes. You got the details I sent you, right? Okay, I'll call you once I am I'm back. Oh, okay, Chief. Chief, I'll come and see you immediately. Yes. Okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> I am grateful. I am grateful. God bless you. Uh, Are you not taking me to the hospital again? Of course I'm taking you to the hospital, babe. But you have to do me a favor. What is it, darling? Okay, um, a friend of mine just called me now. He wants me to make a supply for his company. Yes, so you do me a favor by getting a cab that will bring you home after your attendance hour, right? Okay, it's fine, but hope you'll be through on time so you pick Sonia from school. Ah, uh, sure, sure. Uh, but even if I'm not able to do that, I'll call Cynthia to help us. Okay, it's fine, Danny. Are you okay? Okay, it's fine. It's yeah. all right. Yeah. All right. Sir, as I did like this, sir, I don't understand anything again. I know you're only this all. My man. You know, say too much cap, you know, the full basket. Me na money matter. If you know they talk about money when they move to Australia. That's so you know, get as they play. Make you go come. We know what's up now. That's all. Oh, play line latest. Come back the thing and cause you no guard law. Hey, the man. Baba. I will really wait for things. I won't make you play us. Wait in the soap. When we go first, they put leg. They collect our bar, no time. When they, wow. 
the way for you. See, ya. our target will soon arrive. Go soon arrive to airports. Wow. In next one hour thirty minutes, in go show first. Did they hear me? Nice, nice one. But I get waiting. I don't understand for this matter. Get waiting. They convince me. We find out what they go do. Man, you know what I go do. I don't care. Go on, come on, talk, man. What do you mean, that? As the man where we say we won't do this work for, won't buy the man. Why you go to stress us? We go come to stress ourselves. Come carry, catch the man. Come give him. It better make you, we just use our hand. Buy the man. It's more better now. And you face another work. That is more better, bro. Check him now. If you not if you go to the That's all. Oh, Ma, come down. Your blood hurts. Yeah? See here. Yeah. Let me tell you the question. They pay us, make we not ask question. Our job is to make we grab her. Make we grab the victim. We go hand them over to them. We go collect our change now. That's the thing. <laughs> See, make I talk my mind. Okay. As a man, where we be, we go must do one thing. Either we be player or we be keeper. If we not be keeper, we go be attacker. See, whether we buy that man or we hold that man, and one will be saying not to deliver. Any I be, our balance must come out. After move bobolaji, we must board that man. Me, I don't talk my whole finish. When no God law. If you know they talk about money more fair earlier, no time. As you talk um, maybe like that. No God law, when they kind of wah wah. Make we fall out. Make we fall out immediately. I just tell you about that. Hold on with you. So can you put your wah in your These guys you... You contracted for the job. Hope they are professionals. They are too good. They are professionals. I trust their. I over trust their capability. Honestly, I can't wait to see that guy below his feet. He's a threat to my life and my marriage. I get. I understand, boy. Why? Why don't you make it more easier for these guys? Like, maybe let him. Maybe just shoot this guy. This year, maybe kill him. No. I want him alive. I want to find out everything he knows and who he must have spoken to about this. Don't forget I was the one that set him up. Mm, I get it, I get that part. Uh, let me ask you something. How did they come up for that jail? That I don't know. It's crazy, bro. You know, Drug-related offense in Malaysia is death penalty. Yeah, well, that one I know for so sure. How it happened, I don't know. I can't even say. Well, yeah, that one no really be the problem now. It no matter whether I die for Malaysia or I die for Nigeria, or die and I die. Probably. I swear, bro. But um, I still, I still want him alive. Hey, uh, we'll get him now. Trust my no, boys. No reason. Right? No, no worry. No worry yourself. He has some questions to answer. I need to answer. No worry yourself. Yeah, um... So, Junior. Yes, sir. What would you like to do when you grow up? Mm, you know, plenty occupations to choose from. So, I'm still contemplating on the right one to be. But I'm looking at being a pilot. Pilot? Yeah. Why don't you want to play football, you know? Footballers have money. Yeah, they do. But... I go for my dreams. That's that's not bad. I would like to catch the cloud someday. In the way that needs to be. Oh my goodness. Baby. Honey, where, where are you going to? Mm, Sandra just called me now to help her bring her daughter back from school. 
You and this your your friend Sandra. I don't even understand. Are you her maid or something? But babe, how can you be saying that? Sandra and I are very good friends. I have said this time with that number to you. She's she's just like a sister to me. Yes. Besides helping her to bring her daughter from school when her husband is not available, I don't say anything wrong that she's pregnant. Look, if she's pregnant and she needs help, she should go and get a maid or something. You are not a, you are not a house help. How long will you continue to serve her? Baby, I am not Sandra's maid. She's my friend. I think it's what I can do to her now as a friend. Yes, I don't see anything wrong with that. Look, you are not her friend. You are just her maid. Ha! Lord, Ad, no, come on. No. Mom is just being a good friend, you know. You, know, you won't even understand this thing. Just... Extending friendship. You, you don't understand these things, you know. Just leave it. You know what, Dad? I'm going with mom. Thank you. So, baby, we have to go in your car. Exactly. Bye. See you. <laughs> this is your daddy, babe. <laughs> Since I don't know why I'm having this feeling like like something is going wrong somewhere. I don't know. And what is that? Of course you have not said anything. It's fine. Everything is fine. I just want you to be... I just want you by my side now. No, Sandra. You know I know you very, very well. Yes. We've been friends from childhood. I know you more than your mother can even say. There is something you are hiding from me. What could that be? What is it? Talk to me. Okay, but since I... The thing is, I'm having this strange feeling like something bad is going to happen. I don't know. I don't know. Something bad how? You are standing right here. You are fine. Look at me. I'm fine. I just dropped Sonia at home. She's fine. Frank is fine. Your mother is fine. My mother. In fact, our families are fine. So what could that be? I want to know. Sandra. Yeah, you guys should move now. Yes. No, I they wait till now. Please. Yeah, hey, my bro. Hey, no worry. You'll be all your sin. You got problem. All right.
What takes you so long? Put in the shop now. Don't me waste your time. Now the time where your boss drop money, I begin to come. Wow. I don't waste my own time. Do make up money. I get another work to do. Can they do fast? They waste my time. I get other things to do. complete. should have gotten them. Guy, what's up? Uh, waiting to happen, guy. What's going on? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Just call them and get back to me immediately. Yes, I'm waiting.
Like this, like this, yeah. Follow, follow, like this. Like this, like this. I don't want to sell that land now. I need it to appreciate first. Leave it for like five years or even more. Eh? Yeah, I need it to appreciate. And once it appreciates, I can now. Wait. As I was saying. I did not do anything. No. Where is he? Who? Where is that hidden criminal? That monkey! I don't know what you are talking about. I'm the only one in my house. The children has gone to school. Their mother to the shop. Um, check my house. I'm the, I'm alone in my house. See, Mr. Man! I know say no be play the cardio they play. Because if a cardio man here, go collect with no good. Which one? Boss! Naka man, make you hear what you the talk. I don't understand you people. Make a naka. Let's go. Who are these people? Ah, and the man in my house, who is he? How could these people, who could they be? Criminals or... Coming back. This one matter now we no go fit package. See, eh? as it be like this, eh? <laughs> at the verse where we are inside, I swear, guy, we don't fuck up. We don't fuck up. I gotta don't boss. We don't mess. We don't already enter mess. Eh? And Bruno, they call me all this way. Me, I no fit picking call. I no fit. Eh? Shit, this is Bumbo Clark. Original Bumbo Clark. <sighs> Shit. If they say na, na trouble, I for just say na just small something. But this one a big problem now. We don't enter like this. So as it be like this, eh? We need to. Ah, oh my God! I don't know what to do like see, this. Yes, yes, yes. I get plan. You see, I, I, I go tell him say, you want escape, and we just bam. Instead of him to escape, we just bam. Yes. That one day, but he thinks that only you wise pass. What of if the man go ask you for proof? Wait till you go show him. Yeah. Make I talk my mind. As, as man, where we be? Either we'll be baller or we'll go be player. If we'll not be player, we'll go be attacker. See, make I tell you now. Whether we buy him or we not buy him, we go tell him, say, be say we buy him. That man too small to join us. When they hear me so, nothing they happen. Half a mobile bobology. 
Anyway, now we. Now the rubber Sammy. Eh, uh, the rubber Sammy. See, the two they pay me pass for this matter, be say. See your Siam. We go sleep more for a hand. Next time, we go just Siam. We go put up for a body with two with two. Too much of cap, you know, they feel pass. Can wait to go to. I'm waiting at the house. Um, nah. You know, I took a great risk in saving your life. So I did you to tell me everything. Why are those people after your life? I don't know. You don't expect me to believe that, do you? Listen, I understand that you took a great risk. And I appreciate. Okay, but you need to... You need to understand that I'm telling you the truth. Okay? Like I said... They ambushed me and the airport taxi driver. Yes, I ran away. And after running away, I noticed that they went after the taxi driver and they killed him on the spot. After then, they were still talking about, uh, you know, looking for me and all of that. And I'm like, ah, why would they kill somebody and they're after my life? Is there something that I have done wrong? That was when I now knew that, ah, these guys could be assassins hired to kill me but i just don't know why so you are coming from the airport yes i just arrived from malaysia mm. yes uh before you left the shores of this country did you have any scores to settle with anyone none that i can remember this is serious so what are you going to do now I'll have to leave. I have to find a way to leave as soon as possible. I think it's risky. I, I, I know, I understand it's risky, but I need to see my wife. I also need to see my baby. I've not spoken to them in eight years. Eight years? Why? Of all these social media, Facebook, uh, Instagram, Communication is very easy with phone these days. You will so, not, why? You, you will not understand. It's a very long story. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, okay. But you have to tread with caution. You can move just like that. Hmm? I will. Thank you. Mom, that's them. There is something bothering me. What is it? It's about Dad. What about him? He has been behaving strange lately. You must have observed it. I know, but this time is worse. Please, Mom, ask him what's going on. Okay, it's fine. I will ask him, but believe me, there is nothing wrong with him. Okay, but please just ask him. Okay, I will ask him. Thank you. Pascal. Pascal. Pusma, Pusma. Hey, Pascal, now it was a simple operation. Now, how can you guys feel this operation? 
you were asked to bring this young man alive. Sir, uh, uh, boss man, we don't get any other option. That Tonna can die immediately. Do you know that this guy won Japa? See, let, let me ask you, uh, he better make him die. Like, you know, say, not, not a big threat to him be now. Pascal, this man won Japa. How can one man, a single man, escape four every man like you guys? Sir, uh, boss man, let me tell you the truth. Too. You see this guy? This guy can run, eh? This guy can fly, eh? Now, in the midst of running, why we just knock up the red? We did our best, so I'm not gonna ask you. Your best, your best is not good enough. You wasn't, it's not good enough. It was not good enough at all. Okay, no, Allah, where is his dead body? They for push now. We just bury him for bush so that he can't no fear is in us now. No wala. Eh? Uh, no wala, no wala. I go make an update Frank. Uh, she gets. Uh, I go see you guys later. Uh, I, I beg her. Make I knock you one thing. I see the update time. Tell her say how I change. Stay remain for your hand. <laughs> you don't get it. Huh? You don't get it. Okay now. But ma. How far? At the Omo, there has been a new development, bro. What development? Steve is dead. How? He was shot into his cave and the boys shot him dead. Bruno, are you sure about this? Oh, by sure, the worry. I don't know if you want you now. I don't know if you want you with this guy. Listen, you don't understand how important this is to me. Frank, I understand. I understand. And I don't feel the guitar you story will be way I'm not sure. Listen, I, I listen, I want to be sure myself. Okay. I want to see this. Dead body, if possible. See, the boys made it a small grave, they are buried in. Oh, okay, fine. Uh, yes, but I, I still need to see where he is buried. Can you please call them? They need to take us there. Okay? I'm that going to say it. I that that won't be a problem. That won't be a problem, bro. That won't be a problem. I'll, I'll put them call. I have to call them. Right? I will call them. I will call them. I'll pick them call. You've got nothing to worry about them. Now here we bury him. Tozo, mm -hmm. go find shovel and make you dig him. So then we feel well, there is no need for that. Ah. I am convinced already. See, yes. See, you see, I know you wanted to kill this man yourself. <laughs> but the most important thing is that he's dead. Yeah. And you have nothing to worry about now. Oh, you're right. Good job, guys. Good job. Yeah. Okay. Um. Bruno will get your balance this evening. Really? Yes. Uh, <laughs> your face too. The shoe is sad. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank nice you. Job. Thank nice you job, boys. Nice job, boys. Thank you so much.
it's nice to work with nice you. Nice job, nice job, boys. When I'm on you, when I'm on you, go show. No, no, yeah, no. When I'm on you, go. More jobs, more jobs, Abe. More jobs. We dare ready, oh. We dare ready any time, any day. You can go there and go there. I go there and go there. Where are you? But 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 last man. I am truly grateful for all that you've done for me so far. You're welcome. Steve, I believe that whosoever that sent those boys after you must be watching your house now. Yes. So, you can go to your house now. You can't. But now, see, um, those boys, I... I took shot of them. Look at it. I snapped them to it's not very clear and this their back while they were strolling around. Um, so I'm going to send this to my police friend to investigate them. Okay. Yes. Okay. So thank you so much. Uh, yeah. I mean this is this is more than I ever this is more than I ever envisioned in the first place. I really appreciate this. Thank you so much. You're welcome, my brother. You're welcome. And um, I think um, we have to move inside because it's not safe for you to be here. Okay. Yes, let's go inside. The last time the investigations. Ah. This kind of God do tell you. I never see your pipe full, my sweetheart. <laughs> this kind of God do blessed be your holy name, holy name. I'm fine, Dad. You're fine, right? Yes. Wow. Dad, huh? you looked troubled lately. Yes. But now we are so mm -hmm. happy and. Yes, I am happy now, right? Okay. Tell me, Dad, what's the secret? Okay, I'll tell you. Please, sweetheart. It was business and stress. Okay, but right now, profit has overtaken stress. So I should be happy. <laughs> I'm happy for you, Dad. Oh, thank you, my <laughs> I told dad. you. I told you that is fine. Oh, she was worried about me? Yes, of course. Ah, oh, you're a darling. Come here. Oh, I love you. I love you, Daddy. <laughs> All right, my dear. So, babe. <laughs> Let me get you something to eat. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> Good. 
I went to the address you gave me, though I was watching from a distance. At a time, a man drove out from that compound with a lady. And I wanted to take pictures, but I could not, as the man was staring at me. I pretended as if I was making calls. Um, there are two scenarios here. It's either your wife has sold the house, or she has remarried. That's it. I have to go, I have to go. No, 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 you can't go now. It's not safe. You see, the police is already making progress in their investigations. They're making progress, they're progressing. So just wait a little longer. Huh? You don't have anything to lose. Wait a little longer. No, 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 no. no. I, I need to confront my fears now. It's high time I confronted my fears. If anything will happen, let it happen. It's either I die or not. But I have to do something. I can't just be here now. Okay, it's okay. But if you ask me, I will say you should wait a little longer. I've told you, you worry so much. I don't like it. Yes. Hello, Madam Cynthia. How are you? You know me? I know you very well. Sandra's best friend. Wow. So you know my mom? Yes, yes, I know your mom, boy. And from the time of old. You also know Sandra. Uh hi, Sandra. Um she's I mean, they are fine, but I can't remember seeing this face anywhere. It's been long. So you said she they she married? Of course she's married. Um sir, please, who are you? Um see, Madam Cynthia, can we maybe sit down somewhere and talk? I think I'm okay here. You can say whatever you have to say. And now it's what okay. we need to discuss is not something we'll just stand here and start discussing. Let's sit somewhere, please. Excuse me, sir. Junior, get inside the car. Um. Junior, go in! How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Is your mom around? No, she went to the hospital. Hospital? Is she, is she sick or something? No, sir. She's pregnant. Pregnant? Sir, please, who are you? I... I'm your mom's friend. Okay, let me go and call my dad. Please sit. Sonia, we have to leave here now. That was happening. Oh, I, I will explain later, but we have to leave here. And don't mention this to your mom. Nobody came here. Dad, who is he? Uh, like I said, I will explain later, but we have to leave now. What about mom? I, I, I will call her to start coming home immediately. Okay? Dad, you are scaring me. What is going on? Don't be scared. Okay? Everything will be fine. Don't you trust me? 
You trust me. You trust me. Then do as I say. Going with all these bags. We're traveling. We're no more safe here. We need to leave. Do you understand? Tra I don't Mom. understand. A man was here. Hey, hey, Sonia, it's fine. It's okay. We, we, we. Which man? Babe, I, I, I don't want to go into details, okay? I'll explain everything to you on the way. But we have to. Babe, go. baby, hold on. Babe. I hope you've not gotten yourself to any sort of trouble. But, but this, this is not the right time to ask this. I am fine. Like I said, I will explain everything to you, but not now. We have to leave. Okay, okay. okay. Where are we traveling to? Calabar. Okay, we'll be back as soon as we're safe. It's fine, let me freshen up or something. Hey, okay. you don't have to. Daddy, don't think your mommy. Wait, take it easy. We have to leave here now. The more we delay, the more dangerous it becomes. We have to go. Whatever you want to do, we can stop by anywhere in the hotel. So you can do whatever you want to do. But now we have to leave. Babe, I won't take time. Let me just fresh. Babe! Stop this, please. Let's go. Let us go. Let okay. us go. Okay, okay. Yes. Cool. Thank you, Nika. Oh, where, where is the khaki? You left it inside. Who left it? You left you. it, not me. No, no, babe, come. Daddy. Uh, uh, yes, I'm here. Okay? We have to go. Babe, stay here. I'll get the khaki myself. What's going on? Babe, hey, don't come inside. Bring it. Just the photograph, please. Steve, please don't do this. Don't do this. Hmm? Don't do this. As a man, just be a man. Hmm? Thank God that the police has gathered all the evidence is needed. Just go and get ready. Let's go and see the lawyer. Stop this, please. Safe place. Just, 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 just pull down the gun, okay? We can sort this amicably. We can, we can, we can sort it out here, please. Okay. Just, 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 just put. Yes. Put, put, put the gun away. Okay. I, I, can, I, I can explain. We can Steve, is that you? That's him. He has a gun. He has a gun. Mom. What's going on? Somebody should tell me I'm dreaming. Somebody should wake me up. Fire, what is going on? Um, no, 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 no. 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 Listen, Steve, for the sake of you, 
Okay, but don't I have just pull that big up, okay? Because sort this out is plenty. Steve, please. Okay, we, 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 we can sort this out. I, I, I beg you in the name of coaches, drop the gun now. Eh? Frank! What's up, bro? Bruno, my man. <laughs> of course I'm in Nigeria, bro. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Okay, 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 okay. Just call me back as soon as possible. All right, bro, all right, bro. Bruno, my man. Okay, get back to me. Thanks, bro. Wow. Go to the home. I never believed you when you told me that you had come back home. Are you serious? Yes. Why didn't you believe me? <laughs> Is it not you again? <laughs> You're so <laughs> full of pranks. I was a notorious attitude you were known for back then in school. Well, that was then. <laughs> when I am exhausted and hungry right now, my body needs food. That's fine. I'm really, really happy that you're back. Ah, thanks, bro. Thanks. So, how is your wife? Uh, she's fine. She sends her regards. Old boy. I'm <laughs> that your wife now, mommy. What that your wife too sad? She's too sad. Honestly, I don't understand. Have you met my wife before? Of course, I see your post on on Facebook. Oh, uh, but I thought you were not on Facebook. I'm on Facebook, yeah, but not there with my real name. Yeah, and I don't post my pictures there. Alright. It's basically business. Frank, you never change. <laughs> I'm thinking that you should just come stay with me in my house instead of you going to pay all those expensive hotel bills. Uh, it's fine, but. God, 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 God. But what? It's not as convenient as you staying in a hotel, right? Uh, of course, but you know you're married. You have a wife now. Come so. on, I know I'm married. I'm not complaining. Either is my wife, and at least you get to meet my wife first. <laughs> Don't worry, Steve. Uh, I'll meet your wife someday, but now I have to really do it my way, okay? The truth is I will never be comfortable staying in your house now that you're married. It's okay. I understand, my brother. I did play now, guy. I used to lie. I mean, everything. Especially now that you have a family. I'm just doing my best. So long that one is not buried yet, that means we are still very much alive. Of course, of course, <laughs> of course. You're right. Yes. You're right. Uh, no problems. Uh, <clears throat> I'll see what I can do for you when I get back. I want to make an appeal, Frank. Go ahead. See ya. You don't be as it will be for this country. Things are bad, terribly bad. There's a whole lot of bad economic policies affecting all kinds of business due to bad leadership. Companies are folding up here and there. I don't tire. I don't want to be in this country anymore. I want to leave, and I know you can help me do this. Please, Steve. Yes. You know you're my friend, and um. I have to be honest with you. Yeah. You know, 
life over there is not as beautiful as people think. It is survival of the fittest and growth. Not that there, there is no genuine job or business waiting for anyone. You have to engage yourself in something before you can make ends meet. No matter how bad it is over there, it can be as worse as it is already here in Nigeria. Peace. Okay. Um, do you have your international passport? Of course I do. Okay. I'll do something for you. Yeah, I'll do something for you. Thank you so much. I mean, be grateful. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'm really grateful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome, always. So, what's up? How, how, is, how do you see there? Is it not bad? Not bad, right? At least. For like I said earlier, life over there is not as rosy as it seems from here. Do you understand? I understand this. I mean, life is not a bed of roses. I agree. Secondly, if I if I succeed in getting you over there, bro, you're your own. I really appreciate it, I understand. Once I'm able to get over there, I'll find a way to sort myself out. It's okay. It's right. In that case, I'll have to speak to my agent to start processing your visa. Oh, Frank, my brother. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this, bro. I mean, you've done so much that I even expected. Come on, man. You're my, you're my bro. <laughs> In fact, we've come a long way. I have to do it for you. You I, understand? My God will continue to bless you. Amen. And God will bless you too. And you. <laughs> I begged you to help me to leave this country. What did you do? Instead, you set me up. I met you in Malaysian prison after being arrested on the point of entry. And I met you while you were being released. You are living. You are going back to Nigeria. What did I ask you to do for me? Simple. Deliver a message to my wife. Did I ask you to sleep with my wife? Did I ask you to marry my wife? Or did I ask you to get my wife pregnant? Stop! I'm not done talking. You don't talk when I'm talking. Sorry. Frank. And when you knew that I was coming back to Nigeria after I was released. Frank, what did you do? You. You sent assassins after my life. No, they, they were bodyguards. I mean, um, 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 uh, bounce, bounce us. Uh, sorry, Steve, please. I don't even know what I'm saying, but I just, I just need you to, 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 to put that there. Go, just put it away so we can sort this out here, please. I, I beg you in the name of God. So much tell me what's going on. Or I'll kill myself. Huh? No, see that? See that? You kill me. You know, I will tell you. Still, still, still is about what you father. Yes. Frank, Frank got back from Malaysia and told me he was dead. He, he, he took good care of me. I, that was a month before. I put back to you. A moment before I give back to you. He was. He took good care of me. And he showed me. He was deceiving me. I didn't even know it was fake love. I'm the last person.
Just come out now, everything is okay, okay? Susan, I'm not here. Susan, just open the door, please. We will we'll be fine. Baby, your father is here. I am your father, okay? Yes. Just come out, don't hurt yourself. We love you. Yes, yes, we love you, Susan. Please don't do anything please to yourself. Please don't do anything to hurt yourself, please. Right? Please. Susan, please open the door. Baby, please, for the love of you, don't hurt yourself. Please, open the door. Please. Listen to your mommy, okay? Just, I know we just open the door, we'll be fine. again. You allowed yourself to be deceived and you're here crying crocodile tears. How can Bruno and his men do this to me? 
How could Bruno and his men play me? Now I have lost everything. I am not going to let this slide. After all, Sandra is carrying my baby. But I have to deal with Bruno first. Sandra, you need to stop crying so that we can think of less thing to do. Yes. All these tears, please stop so that we can think of something positive. Since, since my world has come to an end. No, it has not. Oh God. Tell me. How was I supposed to know that Steve is alive? My friend, my friend came with all the evidence. Even me. I'm still confused. I think, I'm, I'm still shocked. Frank deceived me. Frank deceived me. I am finished. I am finished. I am finished. Sandra, you are not. Please stop all this and, and pull yourself together. Please. Oh, Sonia, please. Sonia, please. Just help me beg Steve. Help me beg Steve. Please. I know Sonia, your daughter. I know what she can do. Please. You need to put yourself together. Where do I go from here? He would take me back. <laughs> oh my God! That's will not be our problem for now. You can stay here. My husband travelled and will be coming back in two months' time. Before he comes back, we must have gotten something positive. So please, relax. I want us to think. All these tears cannot help Did us now. Did you say relax? Am I supposed to relax at this situation? <laughs> but... Sandra, please. Sandra, please. Stop doing this to yourself. Stop doing this. Sandra, I, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know. Please, I, I want us to think. Uh, uh, Sandra, all we need to do now is to think what must we do. Okay? Honestly, I don't believe it. I don't believe what is happening. Is Sandra? I told her I don't trust Frank. I don't trust him, but she wouldn't listen. My dear, I'm very, very confused as to what to suggest now in this matter. I'm really confused. I don't know what to say. Hmm. Same to me. She told me how Steve pushed her out and locked it up. Imagine that. Steve of all people. I just don't know where to start. I, I, I don't know. I'm confused too. You know, your friend was too fast. She was just too fast in her conclusions. You know, I've told you several Sandra deserves what she's getting now. Please, you, you mind the way you do talk in this matter. That's what I will tell you. Just mind the way you talk in this matter. But, honey, we need to... We need to do something now. Look, honey. I just got back from two months travel. I worked my ass out, out there. I'm really tired and what I need now is just rest. Okay? I don't have time for all this, please. I don't even know who Steve is going to listen to. I don't know. I know. He can't listen to me, he can't listen to you, he can't listen. I don't, just don't know. But we have to do something. I don't know what to do. If Kay is not taken, she will even leave this house. No, baby. Baby. 
She's my friend, though. It's what I have to do for her that I, I'm, I'm doing. To go and look for my daughter. I want to beg Steve to forgive me. Sandra, Steve is very, very hot now. Okay? You, you, you may end up hurting yourself. So, you know what? I'll go and do that for you. I'll go and talk to Steve myself. Just look at your condition. You, you don't have to do all these things. That's the worst. What am I going to do with this child? Please let me go. What am I doing to myself? I can't let you out. Nobody knows Frank's whereabouts. Okay? So you don't go out there and risk your life. Please, let's go inside. Like I said, I am going to talk to Steve myself again. I will do that. Let's go inside, please. To never be well with Frank. God will punish him. God will punish Frank. Baby, why are you blocking me now? I said you are not leaving this house to go. No way. Just go back inside. Go and relax. Go and rest. This is the only thing I can do for her as my friend. You can see her condition. Not today. Not today. Every day you are going to see your friend. Every day, my friend, my friend. Are you her maid? Please, go and rest inside. You are not leaving. Just... Baby, stop this now. Very soon, you're telling me I'm tired. Anytime I want to touch you, I'm tired of because you're always going to see your friend. You're always working for I'm her. I'm not going to be tired. It's a promise. Junior, how are you? Baby, baby, go inside with Junior. You, you, let's go. Junior, go inside. Let's, let's go inside. <laughs> I should knock. Eh? Hi. 
How I wish someone will come outside. Is that Sonia? <sighs> Sandra, have you seen what you put yourself into? I tried to talk to you, but you wouldn't listen. Now look at it. I don't even, I don't even know what to do. Have you seen, Sonia, can you please come up? I don't want Steve to see me here. Babe, where and how did you leave the house? Babe, please now. <laughs> Look, don't forget that you are five weeks gone. I don't want anything to happen to you or my unborn child. Honey, nothing is going to happen to me or the baby. Please, I want you to help me talk to Steve. Talk to him man to man, please. Hey, you're overstressing yourself on this issue. Hmm? Please, let's Baby, go. please, can you consider Sandra's condition? Please, don't talk to worry, Steve. Don't, don't worry, I'll talk to him. Just come inside the car. When are you going to talk to him? Get inside the car, let's go home, please. Okay? Okay? Don't worry. But why did you abandon us? I never abandoned anyone. So this is what happened. When I arrived Malaysia, upon my touching down at Malaysia, I met my very good friend who was already on his way back to Nigeria. His name is Frank. Since I didn't have any other means to convey a message back to my wife at home, I had to tell Frank to help me convey that message. But unknowing to me that he was a devil. Uh, let's, not, uh, let's not delve in the past, okay? Let's just put that behind us, all right? Let's go get something to eat. We have food in the house. I know, but I... But we need to talk more. Especially, it concerns mom. Sandra, the food is ready. Please, can you go and eat? Sorry, I don't have appetite. Not again, Sandra. You need to eat. If not for anything, for the baby. 
Yes. You're making everything worse. That baby needs to survive. This is Frank's child. How do you expect me to live with it? Can't you see this is the worst of it all? No. It doesn't matter who the pregnancy belongs to. We are talking about health here. Your life. That of the baby. Yes. Don't worry. I'm going to see Steve this time around. And trust me, I am not leaving his place until he talks to me. Do you think Steve will forgive me? Even if he does. Do you think he will accept me back? I don't know. But I believe Steve is a responsible man. He's cultured. He has no other option than to accept the facts. Yes. Please, you need to help the matter too. Don't eat your food. Don't say no to me. Sandra, you have mourned so much. Enough of this, yes. Love and hate stand side by side. Let's go to the dining. Light and dark clinging in a room. Before my eyes are shining Sandra, like a light. help this innocent I I child. See the hearts of man. Somebody with me up, hold my hands and tell me it's all a dream. Oh no, oh no. The life that I wish I had like a candlelight is burning down so fast. Mm. Oh, I wish, oh, I wish for love. Never go so far. Never go so far. Oh, I wish, oh, I wish that you never go away. Never go away. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Every night I cry, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Somebody tell me it's all a dream. Oh, 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 oh. Somebody wake me up. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. I wish I yeah. could see. No, 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 yeah. Night and day yearning for your touch, your gentleness, that is all I wish. All I wish. The heart I cling, walking for my due. I wish I knew that it's all a twist Somebody wake me up, hold my hands and tell me it's all a dream Oh no, no, no The life that I wish I had like a candlelight is burning down so fast Oh, 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 oh I wish for love never go so far Oh yeah Oh, I wish that you never go away. Oh, no. oh, 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 every night I cry, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 somebody wake me up. Oh, oh, oh. Wish it's all a dream. Oh, 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 yeah. I wish I could feel better. Feel better. Somebody wake me up. Oh no no no. 
I feel like I'm in a dream world. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sandra, tell me. How long do you want to continue to do this to yourself? No, tell me. For crying out loud, I have told you. You need to give Steve time. All he needs is time. I can see it in his eyes. He still loves you. Yes. You are hurting yourself. Do you know that? Please stop. Let's go inside. Sandra, let's go inside. Baby, of course I can understand how you feel. Yes, but it is not all your fault. It's not all your fault. Please. We are looking for solution to this. Steve is there for you. Sonia is there for you. Just give him time. Sandra, can we go inside, please? Let's go inside. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get up. Get up. Get up. Please get up. Sandra, get up now. Please. Please get up. I can understand. Right? Let's go. Maybe. Yeah, I can understand. But please. Crying every day we must have this problem. I believe that God has reasons for everything. Okay? Don't worry. Please, you need to put yourself together. Of course, your daughter Sonia is a very sharp and smart girl. We are working towards it. Trust me. Everything will be alright soon. Okay? So, stop doing all these things. I don't want you to hurt yourself, baby. Please. Let's go inside. Baby, please, please. Like I said, it is not your fault. It can happen to anybody. Let's go inside. Don't worry. I, I think I have to go and see Steve again today. Okay? Let's go. Let's go. It will be all right soon. Put yourself together. I think um, God has purpose of everything. There is reason for all this. Let's go. Let's go here. Let's go. Sandra, please. You have to live for your daughter. You need to be strong for Sonia, yes. Think about her also. If anything happens to you, what, what control do you think she will be? Please, put yourself together. Let's go inside. If not for anything, for Sonia's sake. Okay? Let's go.
Steve. Honestly, I, I know how you feel. Yes. But... <clears throat> Steve, please. Forgive her. She's your wife. Cynthia, if you're here to beg for Sandra's forgiveness, please, I'm not in the mood to have this kind of conversation. Steve, Sandra is your wife. She has a child for you. I mean, a grown-up daughter for that matter. You have every reason to be angry. You don't know how angry I am. Because if you do, you will not be here, standing before my very presence, asking me to forgive Sandra. To err is woman, to forgive is divine. Enough! Now leave. Steve, are you, are you asking me, Cynthia, to leave your house? Don't. You dare push me. Don't! Where do you think you're going to? Huh? Where do you think you're going to? I'm going to see my mother. And you can't stop me. You're not going anywhere. You hear me? If I can remember, my mom said you're my father. And I am yet to decide. If you stop me, I will have no other option than to kill myself. And um, Wait, Sonia! Just let her go. She's only a child, okay? She's going through a lot at the moment. So just let her be. That's what I'm saying. She is still a child. There are things you can't deprive her. You can't deprive her from her motherly love. You need to think. Please, let me go. I'm so sorry for letting you down. It's not your fault, Mom. You were only deceived. Everything's going to be alright. <laughs> Nothing is going to be fine. Sandra. <laughs> you should be the one telling her what she is telling you. Yes. Mom, everything is going to be all right. Yes. I came to check on how you are doing, but I'll be going back now. I need to get closer to Dad so that I will know what needs to do, as I and Auntie Cynthia discussed. Sandra, put yourself together. You should be thanking God that you have an intelligent daughter like her. Yes. I need to take her back. Yes. That's what I promised, Steve. It's okay, Mom. Stop crying. Sandra, put yourself together for crying out loud. We need to go. He just gave us some minutes. Hi, let's go. It's okay, okay? It's okay.
Dad. Yeah. I'm sorry for the way I talked to you earlier. I'm depressed. I, I can't believe this is happening to me. It's okay. Everything will be alright. Dad, please. I want to ask you for a favor. Yes. What is it? Dad, please forgive me. I understand how you feel. But it's not her fault. She was deceived. And she had no means to reach you. Please, Dad, for my sake. Dad, please. Dad, please. Please, Dad. how you feel i'll be lying but then the sandra i know used to be a very strong woman sandra you are stronger than this condition yes prove it since to be honest with you those people that committed suicide in the past shouldn't be blamed God forbid. Please, don't say that again. Don't. Life is meaningless to me now. And you think suicide is a solution to that? Of course, no. Babe, what has happened has happened. I think what we need to do now is to think on how to you know take care of things and then you move on with your life yes i think i'm going to abort this child hmm. it will only remind me of that idiot sandra that's still not the solution no i am not in support of that Please. 
Please, I'm truly sorry. Please forgive me. Dad, please. For my sake. She was only deceived. Yes. Please. Already happened. Just okay. Please. Yes. Yes. So, just forgive her. Very good, sir. Mm. All right. <laughs> Sonia has been terrorizing my life ever since. She's been a thorn in the flesh because she's been asking to, to see you because she misses you. So. Sonia went to school. Oh, yes. My very intelligent and smart daughter. <laughs> I noticed her smartness. Yeah. Very intelligent, beautiful girl. And why haven't you brought her mother back into this house to stay as your wife that she is? I... I... I will. You said you are forgiven her. That from the depth of your heart, you have forgiven her. What happened to her could happen to anyone. Huh? Since you have forgiven her, why not bring her back into this house where she rightly belongs? I still love her very much. Yes. Yes, come in. Steve, good afternoon. Good afternoon. You're welcome. I think I I know you somewhere. Yes, you said uh, you are Sandra's friend, right? Yes, my friend, of course. But I don't know him. <laughs> it's okay. For clarity sakes, this is OBDK. He's the man who saved me from the hands of those assassins while I was in the bush. Yes, and he's also the same man who had to get in touch with you in order to know my family's whereabouts. Oh, my goodness. I thought as much. You know, I was asking myself. Who is this Sandra's friend that I, Cynthia, did not know? Thank you. Thank you so much. You did not just save his life. You saved our lives. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. All thanks to the Almighty God. He's the one that did it all. Come on, Steve. You have a very beautiful wife here. I've always, I've always loved you, even as a wife. This home is yours if you accept to come back. Hi, thank you, God. Thank you. Love and hate standing side by side. 
Light and dark clinging in a room Before my eyes is shining like a light I wish I could see the hearts of men Somebody wake me up, hold my hands and tell me it's all a dream Oh no, oh no The light that I wish I had like a candlelight is burning down so fast Oh, I wish, oh, I wish for love. Never go so far, never go so far.